Hello, SLCC Interior Design 1010. Welcome to week two. It feels like we just got started since we started on a Wednesday, and so a lot of you guys might be seeing week one and two at the same time. Um, I'm, again, I'm so excited to have you all here with me this semester. Before you know it, we will be talking about week 16, which is our last week. So go ahead and keep up the good work. I love that a lot of you guys jumped on the assignments the first day that they were posted. Whether it's the first day, the last day, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you stay on top of it. Um, I really want to see all of you guys be successful in this class. So let's talk about how to be successful this week in week two, elements and principles. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through our modules and I'm gonna show you what module two is made up of this week. So we've got um, an overview of the principles and elements of design, as you guys can see here, in addition to some of the reading that you will be doing in your book. Now, what we're trying to accomplish this week is have you guys start learning these terms so that you can start learning and thinking like a designer. I'm gonna skip ahead to the assignment. So this is what it's going to look like. These are a couple examples from last semester. Here's one example. Here is another one. I'm actually gonna go further down on this one. So we're talking about textures, curved lines, rough textures. And coming over here to the assignment breakdown, a lot of times when we first get into design, we say that we like a space. And it's just that simple. We say, oh, I like this space. It's nice. But what does nice mean? You know, that's a very subjective thing to say. But once you start learning things like scale, proportion, different types of balance, rhythms, and then different elements, vertical lines, horizontal lines, even the textures, then you can really start expressing why you like a space, what makes it strong, what could be improved about it. And so to start off this class, we want you to be able to start thinking, speaking, and recognizing pretty basic design terminology. And what you'll be doing is putting it all together in this presentation. Here's another example. And you will be creating a slide for each one of these right here. So we have them relisted. Um, a couple things that I wanted to make sure you remember. First, make sure you do each one of these slides. When you're done, please turn it in as a PDF as these students has, have done here. Pardon me. Um, I think I made my coffee too strong. I'm really buzzing right now. <laughs> but these students right here, when you turn it in as a PDF, what it allows you to do is to preserve the fonts that you used. So these are really unique fonts, as you can see. And if they hadn't saved it as a PDF, it would come through really plain. It would lose a lot of its formatting. And honestly, it would just look a little bit awkward. Part of the points that you get is that you um, made an effort on your presentation. And so I'll be looking for that. Along those lines, another thing that I want you guys to watch out for, I don't have an example here, but I want to make sure that all of the images and graphics you use are not pixelated. So they should be really clear and crisp. Nothing should look like it's pixelated. And pixelated just means that you took a small picture, you made it too big, and it ends up looking pretty grainy and hard to see. So really crisp, clean pictures, please. So that's your assignment this week. Now, in addition to that, we'll also be having a class discussion. When we have discussions, it doesn't mean that we just come on and comment, but rather we engage with our peers. So you'll see that there's kind of a two-part um, a two portion part to this assignment. First, by Thursday night, I want you to post a comment. Just take a look at this image and give us some feedback on why this room is working, what isn't working, and then before the end of the week, by Sunday night, respond to another student's comment. That really makes it a discussion, not just that you're kind of walking into a room and yelling something and walking away. But again, you're really being part of a discussion. 
So don't forget to post your comment early in the week before Thursday. And then also come back later in the week and make sure you respond to somebody as well. And last but not least, we'll also have some questions. So there's no time limit on this. You can look up the answers. So it's really not a big deal that I'm showing this to you. Um, but just remember, once you start it, you have to finish it. A couple people had some trouble this week where they started a quiz, they got a phone call, or their internet went out, so they weren't able to finish the quiz. So please make sure that you're able to finish this before the time runs out. Sorry, not before the time runs out, but before you actually submit it. And you can see right now, I've had this page open for 10 minutes, 22 seconds. I can keep this open until next week if I wanted to. So take your time. We really want to make sure that you know the answers because it's important information and relevant to the field. All right, last announcement for this week. I've got some extra credit for you. There is a summer barbecue coming up on August 28th at Sugar House Park. And this is hosted by IIDA Intermountain Chapter. And IIDA stands for the um, International Interior Design Association. And now that I'm saying that out loud, I'm so, so sorry if I get that wrong. Um, I should have looked that up before I started the video. I'm six minutes in. I'm not going to start it over. But it's this, um, it's this week at Sugar House Park at 530. And it's open to anybody. So it's a great way to meet new people, kind of do a meet and greet. And um, it's called the Big Field Pavilion. So I know that in an online class, it's a little bit hard to go to these events because you might not know anybody. What I'm going to do is post this up in the discussion and you guys can post to one another and say, hey, is anybody meeting here? I'd love to meet up with somebody. Um, again, it's open to anybody. So even if you go alone, that's great. Um, but if you want to go with a buddy, if that makes you more comfortable, that's great too. All right, one other credit, extra credit opportunity that I thought up as I was talking about the IIDA one is this um, kind of a tailgate party. It's over at the Workspace Elements showroom and actually three or four of our graduates work there. So I'd strongly encourage you guys to go it's a great way to not just meet people in the industry, but people who have gone through the program. And that's Thursday, the 29th of August from 11 to 1. And I mean, come on guys, free food. It doesn't even matter if you're into football, but because you are going into this profession, I think it'd be really fun for you guys to go out and meet some people. So again, I will put both of these on our um, class discussions page. You guys can try to find a way to connect with one another, meet with people. I know there's a couple nurses in this class. I'm sorry, I can't remember your names off the top of my head, but again, just a great way to connect with people in our class, other members of our program, and then just in the field. So I hope you guys have a great week. Please let me know if you guys have any questions, and I will see you guys really soon. Have a great week.